Hey guys, it's Nobody's Help here. Welcome back to the channel. And iOS 15.1 will soon be available to the general public within the next couple of days. Apple has mentioned that this software will be dropping soon. As of right now, it is currently sitting in RC, which is the release candidate, the software before the official release to the general public. So you guys have asked me to make a video on some of the latest bugs within the software so that you know before you update when it makes a lot of sense. So of course, if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and updates, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode. And now the first thing I wanna talk about is the YouTube community poll. This is where I get some feedback from you guys. You guys vote and express your thoughts within the latest iOS updates. Of course, the question was, how is iOS 15.1 RC working for you so far? Now this software has only been out for nearly a day now. And uh, some of you guys are having a great experience. Some of you guys are not even running the software. Now out of 3,200 votes so far, by the way, you can still vote and express your thoughts within the software. Links will be in the description for this poll before the official release i'll have another video talking about additional uh, bugs within the software before it is officially launched but right now as you can see 26 percent of you guys have voted a great experience so far and eight percent of you guys say it's okay but there's still some bugs a uh, four percent of you guys say it's very buggy and a whopping 61 percent of you guys are not running ios 15.1 now as i mentioned many users can express their concerns there's thoughts within the software as you can see right here you can check back within these YouTube community polls and go ahead and express your thoughts, leave your comments and share your device as well. If there's any bugs that you're coming across within the latest iOS 15.1. Now there's one thing that I do want to mention in terms of raw performance, like the way the iOS operates in general. I haven't encountered any issues. Obviously I'm using iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is one of the most powerful devices running on at the latest iOS 15.1, of course, but I did encounter some issues with the camera. And I want to start off with that because I've noticed that with iPhone 13 Pro Max here, I've noticed that the camera sometimes stays blurry. So if I would launch the camera application to take a quick picture, especially from the lock screen, it would just stay blurry. It would never launch the camera for whatever reason. Also, when taking micro photography, it would stay blurry for some reason. A minor bug that I've encountered, let me know if you've encountered that bug on your device, especially iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now, many users are still reporting issues with CarPlay. CarPlay communication problems are still reported even in iOS 15.1. I would like to hear from you. I don't currently use a CarPlay head unit on my vehicle, but right now many users still continue to report this issue where the iPhone would just disconnect if you're listening to music or just having communication problems in general within CarPlay on the latest 15.1 RC. Now keep in mind, RC is the release candidate. So this software running on this iPhone is pretty much the same one we'll get next week. Some users are also reporting third-party app crashing. So for example, if you open up Twitter, it would crash if you open up TikTok, it would crash and so forth. Now, I haven't encountered many crashes within third-party applications, but some users are still reporting crashing within third-party applications. And maybe this just needs a minor update in order for the apps to kind of sync properly with the latest OS. Maybe the developer just needs to update something on their end. We'll have to wait and see here within the next week. One of my biggest concerns is actually network connection. Now, I wasn't having network connection issues for a while now, but back with iOS 15.1, RC, see I'm having 5G connection issues so I'm defaulting back to LTE. LTE is working a little better and this could be maybe the towers in my region, maybe the servers in my region but 5G connection on iPhone 13 Pro Max just isn't what I've expected so far at least right now on iOS 15.1 RC. Let me know if you're having network issues or Bluetooth issues with your devices. I would like to hear from you in those comments down below. And last but not least, one of the biggest issues that many users continue to report is a bug that Apple has promised to fix with iOS 15.0.2 and that is the storage full prompt when opening the settings application. Now many users continue to report that when they launch the settings application on their iPhone and they're browsing through settings they get a prompt that says that your storage is almost full even though you still have storage left over on your device. This bug continues to plague many users. Many forums over on Reddit continue to express concerns with this particular bug. I have haven't encountered this issue, but many users continue to report. So about a handful of issues that some users are reporting. Obviously, 15.1, it is a better software than iOS 15.0, is in the right direction. It adds great new features and improvements to the software, not as buggy as before, so we're looking good. Again, make sure you check out that YouTube community poll, express your thoughts as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.